You can now power 3.5 inch external hard drives from USB-C. Stay tuned as we find out how. Welcome back. At Tech Autos, we do reviews of the latest tech gadgets and automotive products. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing. So you got a 2.5 inch external USB hard drive to store or back up your files. These are great, they're small, and they operate from a single USB 3 cable from your PC for both data and power. But soon your data grows and you realize those drives have maxed out at 5 terabytes. The reason is they're actually just 2.5 inch laptop hard drives in a USB enclosure, and since laptops have entirely switched to solid state disks, there probably won't be any larger consumer 2.5 inch drives made. So you switch to a 3.5 inch USB hard drive like this 14 terabyte Western Digital. These give you all the storage you want, but besides their size and weight, they have another big problem. They connect to your PC via micro USB 3.0, just like the 2.5 inch drives, but they also need a bulky, separate AC adapter for power. The reason is that internally these are SATA drives that need 12 volts, and traditionally USB-A provides just 5 volts and insufficient current. These power bricks or wall warts are often different for every device, so you accumulate a ton of them, finding a replacement is a nuisance when they fail, and they add unwanted weight if you need to carry or store them. Today there's a solution. USB-C is growing into a universal power solution for electronics, able to carry up to 240 watts in the latest revision of the power delivery specification. So what if we gave this USB hard drive the 12 volts it needs, but from a USB-C plug instead of the proprietary brick? Enter this cable. On one side we have a barrel jack with a 5.5mm outside diameter, 2.5mm inside diameter and center positive, just like the original power bricks cable. On the other end, we have what looks like just a USB-C male plug labeled 12V 5A on top. In fact, there's some circuitry inside of this plug called a power delivery trigger or sync. Essentially, it's a chip that negotiates with the USB-C power source you plug it into to request a particular voltage, in this case 12 volts, which it then outputs through the cable to the barrel jack. Now, instead of the separate power brick, you could power the hard drive from a USB-C charger, maybe a multi-port charger like some we've reviewed in the past, so you could power your laptop, phone, and this hard drive together, or even a USB-C battery pack or a USB-C cigarette lighter adapter in your car or RV. One thing you need to make sure of though is that your USB-C power source supports the right voltage profile and can provide enough current. In this case, we need 12 volts, which not every USB-C charger provides, but many do. On the current side, the original power brick provides 1.5 amps, which at 12 volts means 18 watts. So make sure your source can do that at the necessary voltage. We were able to plug our 14 terabyte drive into a variety of USB-C power supplies and batteries, and it worked great. It spun up without issue and was able to conduct large file transfers exactly as it did on its original power brick. See the links in the description below to check out this USB power trigger cable, which is available in different lengths and voltage profiles on Amazon. We've also linked to a few of our favorite USB-C chargers, which we've reviewed. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and post any comments or questions below.